you might have heard a lot about AI or artificial intelligence, but what's it all about? Well, I'm joined in studio by RTE journalist Mark Coughlin, who's made a special report all about it. So Mark, thanks for coming in. What is AI? So artificial intelligence is about getting computers and machines to do things that humans would normally do. And it's already in lots of places, okay? So artificial intelligence is on YouTube and on Netflix. It recommends what videos you should watch next. That's artificial intelligence. And what it's really about, or often about, is about showing computers pictures or examples of things and asking them to guess what they're seeing or guess what it is. So you might show com computers millions of examples, say, of pictures of a car, right? So there's a picture of a car, and computers will eventually figure out that cars have wheels and they look sort of this shape, and then eventually computers will figure out what cars look like, and then they became able to draw cars. So I showed a computer system this picture of a car, and I said, can you make my picture of a car a little bit better? And it gave me this picture. Oh. And I said, right, can you make it a little bit more colourful? And it gave me this picture, which is pretty impressive, right? So it's getting quite good. And then I said, can you make it a little bit more detailed again? And it gave me this picture. And then I said, make it look like a mosaic drawing. And it gave me this picture. And that's pretty amazing, right? Because not alone was it able to draw a really good car based on my pretty bad car. Have a look there beside them, the two beside each other. It was able to draw the car, but it was also able to understand all the words that I was asking about it. Understand the word colourful, detailed mosaic. So this system was able to understand pictures, but also words, which is pretty amazing. Really amazing. Definitely doing you out of an art career, Mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, what can these technologies be used for in terms of school, like homework and tests? How can students use them? Yeah, so they can also do text. So when you show them sentences, they began to understand how all the words relate to each other. And they did this in a really interesting way because they started to do kind of maths with words, which was surprising. And scientists were amazed at the time that they could do this. So mm. they began to understand the link between the word king and the word queen by doing a math sum, which was king minus man plus woman equals queen. That's how the computer systems learned the relationship between those two words, which was amazing because that's how humans kind of understand language too, right? So when I show people at home a sentence like, the cat likes milk, they might not realise it, but everyone understands the link between those words. They understand the cat likes milk could be rewritten as Milk is something that the cat likes, yeah. right? So that makes sense. And you know that all those words go together like that because you can rewrite it. And you also know if I was to say the milk likes cat, that that doesn't make any sense, right? So what scientists did is they got computers to understand that very basic concept by showing them millions of examples until they became really good at ordering words together and making sentences. And then with ChatGPT, what they've managed to do is show computers billions of examples, so not just millions, billions. And ChatGPT is really good at putting words together and putting sentences together in a really kind of human-like way to make it feel like you're talking to a human when you talk to ChatGPT because it understands so much about the words and the sentences. That's really impressive. Mark, in the future, what kind of things can AI be used for? In the future, it could be able to do things like what me and you do. It could be able to be a journalist or write news stories or could be able to present the news. And actually, that's one of the things that I went and got done. I got an artificial intelligence company to make a version of me that speaks and looks like me. And here's what he looks like. To make this video, all I had to do was type into a box and click generate. And here I am speaking to you now. <laughs> We should be a little bit worried about our jobs. Um, <laughs> do you think it can re completely replace human beings? It certainly has its limitations. And of course, it doesn't necessarily understand basic conversational things like how humans interact around humour or comedy, which I also found out about because I asked it to write me a comedy script and this is the joke that it gave me. We have more ways to cook a potato than there are potatoes in Ireland. <laughs> you could have mashed, boiled, roasted, fried, even made into pancakes. And let's face it, everything tastes better with a little bit of tato. So that was the joke that it gave me, which I mean, <laughs> most people would say is really bad joke and there was no real laughs in the room when I delivered that joke. So there are limitations to this. It's not replicating a human in that sense. So overall, Mark, do you think AI is a good or a bad thing? I think there's going to be loads of really good stuff that comes with the 
mass adoption, you know, when everybody starts using tools that are like ChatGPT or that are built upon things like ChatGPT. I think it's going to really help teachers when they're teaching uh, students and doctors to diagnose things and people who are sick to understand what it is that's making them sick. There are really good things that could come with it. But people need to be careful around ChatGPT and tools like it because it could, as we saw with social media, there's bad things with, that come with technology. It could misinform people, write incorrect news stories or be used for that purpose by people who want to do bad things. So we need to be careful about it. And politicians are trying to get policies in place to make sure that nothing goes wrong with how AI is used. Thanks so much, Mark. Lots of fascinating stuff there. Thank you so much.